Hey, Glad! What is your raid loadout gonna be? Hey, Glad. I really wanna know what you're gonna use for the raid. Glad, what's your day one loadout gonna be? Hey, do we know what Glad's raid loadout's gonna be? Glad, day one raid. When you, what are you going in for the What are you crypting? What are you going in for the crypt? The crypty crypt, day one crypty crypt. Glad you crypting it up, bruh. What are you crypting with, dude? Yo, bro, what's your day one raid loadout? Hey, man, what are you taking into the raid? Was curious. This is what I'm taking into the raid. I'm going in. Dawnblade. Well of Radiance, Warlock. Solar Grenade. Healing Rift. Burst Glide. Uh, I will be starting off with a Cold Denial with Headseeker Feeding Frenzy. A Martyr's Retribution with Demo and Auto Loading. And Thunderlord, I think that's what I'm going to go in with. But I'm going to be ready to hot swap to Xenophage, uh, possibly Anarchy, or maybe a 7 star. I mean, really any of these. Um, as for the armor, so this is just what I'm starting with. Just Let's just be clear here. <laughs> Do I have a Crucible tracker on this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, my helmet is going to have... Uh, first of all, let's go over the stats. So we have a four mobility. Resilience doesn't matter. I'm hoping that we don't get frozen in the fucking raid. Uh, 100 recovery, always. Uh, I might do some more discipline, but on a well of Radiance Warlock, it's really not necessary. Uh, 100 intellect, because my whole build, as you can tell, is based around just farming wells. Farming wells. Anyway. Um, and strength doesn't matter. So we're doing 100 recovery, 100 intellect. Uh, we are running protective light on our helmet. And we are feeding the protective light with uh, taking charge on our chest piece. <laughs> you get frozen so much. Uh, grenade launcher ammo finder is what we're starting off on since we're running Martyr's Retribution. But the nice thing is, no matter what gun I use, I have free slots to change it. So if I'm using a machine gun, shotgun, uh, where is shotgun even? I blind whatever the fuck I'm here it is whatever the fuck I'm using I'm just gonna hot swap to the finder uh, once again for those of you that don't know what protective light is I'm just gonna go over everything uh, while charged with light you gain a significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed this effect consumes all stacks of charge with light the more stacks consume the longer the damage resistance lasts this is extremely powerful this is extremely powerful uh, so we're going to be running this to help keep yourself alive. Uh, going down to our gloves um, from the artifact, I have Pulse Rifle Loader and GL Loader. Once again, these will be swapped out. If I swap to a hand cannon, I'm just going to rip the intellect mod off and put hand cannon finder on. Not a big deal to run um, a hand cannon loader and nine intellect. Uh, this is going to be where I have global reach. So global reach, war mine cells you create, effect and damage targets at greater distance. Uh, so I'll be, be able I'll be able to create war mine cells with all sorts of different things. Uh, I'll be able to do it with the seven serif machine gun. I'll be able to do it with martyrs retribution. I'll explain how in a second. Thank you, Chevy. I'll be able to do it with seven serif saw. Uh, I'll, you know, there's gonna be multiple guns that I'll be able to use to create war mine cells. So going to the chest piece, taking charge. This is how we're fueling. Uh, become charged with life by picking up orbs of power. This is how we are fueling our uh, protective light. Um, the nice thing about taking charge is I'll keep taking charge the whole time, or I'll keep the charge with light the whole time unless my shields break, which will help keep me alive. Uh, I'll be swapping out the reserves to whatever heavy or special weapon I'm using. I'm going to start off with a machine gun, uh, but during the raid, this will be a quick hot swap to GL, blah, 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 uh, whatever the fuck I need. Uh, concussive Damner, because why not? I mean, you can really run any of these. If, if I see snipers, I'll swap to sniper resistance. If it's a bunch of close range, I'll swap to point blank and swap to a shotgun. Blah, 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 blah. Um, the boots. Uh, this is a key component here. Solar splash, dam splash damage. Final blows. I have a chance to create war mine cells. This is how uh, Martyr's Retribution and Chevy showed me this build. <laughs> um, this is a solar grenade launcher that shoots across the ground like a, a thermite grenade. And with Wrath of Rasputin on, it creates war mine cells. And it's really good. Recuperation, because you should always run recuperation in pve especially at high level activities especially if you're running things like taking charge where you're going to be collecting orbs recuperation is fucking huge run it uh grenade launcher scavenger because i'm running a gl 
But if at any point I need to swap this out, if you'll notice, I have extra slots here so I can put on any scav that I'm running at the particular moment. Um, and then finally, the class item is Rage of the Warmind. Uh, addi adds additional solar damage to your explosions of your Warmind cells you destroy. So, my Warmind cells create Warmind cells. Uh, thanks again, Chevy, for showing me this. Martyr's Retribution creates Warmind cells with Wrath of Rasputin. You destroy your Warmind cells with Rage of the Warmind. It does more solar damage, which procs Wrath of Rasputin, which creates war more Warmind cells. So your Warmind cells create Warmind cells. This is like a build based around Warmind cells just creating more Warmind cells for your teammates. So this is like a ad clearing build for sure. And as you can tell, this whole thing with the machine gun and everything is strictly for just fucking keeping us safe. Keeping the ads away. Warmindception. Cellception. Um, now, <clears throat> if at any point I'm not digging the whole War Mind Cell creates War Mind Cell build, and I'm and I'm like, all right, I'm done using Martyrs. I'm kind of done with this. I'm gonna switch something up. I'm gonna swap over to Cellular Suppression. So let's say that I'm like, all right, dude, <clears throat> I want to fucking create more War Mind Cells with this, and I want to snipe the man's, and I want to swap to Anarchy for damage. Dink, dink, Anarchy, Supremacy. Now I'm creating Warmind Cells with this. I'm not really going to be optimizing Rage of the Warmind as much, so I'll switch to Cellular Suppression. I'll still be creating Warmind Cells, but instead of uh, the Warmind Cells creating more Warmind Cells, maybe I want a Suppression effect, and this is damaging a Warmind Cell creates a burst of suppressing Void Energy. Additionally, you deal less damage to Warmind Cells. So this will be if I want a little bit more of like a Suppression CC sort of build. Uh, I could also pair this with something like this and this and this. So this is a blinding GL. Uh, this will blind enemies. Cellular suppression will blind enemies, which will be created by this. So, you know, you have like your different uh, sort of loadouts that you can run here. And that's what's important about keeping uh, various different loadouts in here. And you want to cover all your ranges. So, you know, let's say I want to run a shotgun here. I want to run uh, auto rifle here for good like mid range. And then I want to do 1k for quick burst damage. You know, you have all sorts of uh, options. Now, the other good weapons that I have, so I'll go back to my original loadout, which was this. I'm also keeping a Supremacy. <clears throat> oh, my uh, Cold Denial has Headseeker Feeding Frenzy. Glad. Why Headseeker? Well, that's an interesting choice. Well, because a lot of times you're not going to be fucking slaying out and proccing things like Rampage and... Um, uh, swashbuckler the enemies might be kind of beefy uh, head seeker is going to increase my damage without actually having to get kills uh, Body shots landed with this weapon increase precision da precision Holy damage for a short time It'll do you know, it's I like this roll. I like it. It's got decent reload. It's got range I like the range master work on it. This is you know because I want to chill back a little bit if it's uh you know dangerous if the enemies are scary I'll be running a Supremacy with Triple Tap Snapshot with Boss Spec. A Perfect Paradox with Trench Barrel. I just like this shotgun. I'm not really running this for the perks. Uh, I'll be. I'll have Wither Horde. I'll have a Auto Rifle if I want a primary Auto Rifle. Auto Rifles are still pretty good. Uh, this is my go-to hand cannon. I love this thing. Swashbuckle and Overflow. It has a good reload speed. It's awesome. Um, Izzy, because Izzy's a fucking beast. And uh, this is if I really want to hang back. Uh, I'm going to have a scout rifle. I have used scout rifles before in Worlds First, particularly Spire of Stars, because enemies were extremely dangerous. Um, Martyrs, I already went over. I'm going to have a surrounded shotgun. This thing is a fucking animal. Uh, hey, Glad, how did you get Aikilo shotgun? Well, I got it last season. That's how I'm able to infuse it up to 1250. Uh, this is going to be my blinding GL truth teller for blinding enemies. It also has auto loading, so it's going to work similar to this, except for CC. Uh, Seven Seraph, this will be my primary Warmind Cell weapon if I go to a non-Martyrs Warmind Cell. Aikilo Sniper is a 140. I still love 140s. Um, 140s, I mean, this is why I have this in here. I was going to try to use the new Sniper, but Chevy talked me out of a Dord, uh, so I'm swapping to this. That's Chevy's fault. I was going to use the Dord, but I, I he made me swap to this. Uh, Nation of Beasts, I love this gun, dude. Always have. I think it feels great. Um... This is this will be like my dragonfly weapon. Uh, we already went over gnawing hunger and divinity if I need to be divinity bitch. And then for my heavies, thunderlord, xenophage because it's a fucking animal. Sword just in case swords are strat, most likely not. 
Uh, this will be my auto-loading grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are fucking nutty. Wait, how many kills do I have in this? 30? Yeah, yeah. As you can tell, I love this gun. Uh, grenade launchers are still really good, and having an auto-loading full-court spike, this would be good for DPS, for sure, especially if I swap out with something like Izzy. Anarchy, I mean, enough said. Uh... I'm gonna have this just in case there's like snipers that I need to pick off or something weird. Like maybe enemies that aren't one shot with this, but are one shot with this. We'll see, this is like a range encounter. Whisper for DPS if it's a crit boss. Uh, 1K if we need heavy burst damage. And this is literally here just for war mine cells. Um, that's basically it guys. I mean, this is what I'm going into the raid with. Uh, I'm pretty much not going to use anything that I get dropped during the raid because that's, you know, I'm just going to fucking roll through with these items and, uh, and fucking, you know, change, just swap these up as I see fit. If I go into the first encounter and right away there's a boss, I'm like, ah, oh, Thunderlord's trash. I'll probably immediately just go fucking hand cannon, sniper, anarchy, you know, like just fucking real quick. Bang, 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 dude. All right. Reset, wipe, you know? You just got to be ready for whatever comes your way and be prepared because you never know what's actually going to show the gloves again. Cool. That's it. Wired. I have never seen the same question so much in my entire life. It was insane. <laughs>